Welcome to Home Care Matters, the show where we discuss all things home care, with discussions on important age-related matters and topics, brought to you by Enriched Life Home Care Services, the number one rated home care provider in Michigan by Top Rated Local. Hello and welcome to All Home Care Matters. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us here at the show. If this is your first time visiting us here at the show, we want to thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. We know and appreciate how valuable everyone's time is, and that's why we try to make each episode here at All Home Care Matters something that will hopefully matter to you. Now on today's show, we're going to talk about and discuss what ADLs are or activities of daily living. Now, some of you may already be familiar with the phrase ADL or ADLs. The initials stand for activities or activity of daily living. But what does that mean? The phrase or term ADLs, activities of daily living, is used to describe the skills that are required to independently take care of oneself. This includes personal care, bathing, showering, grooming, nail care, and oral care, eating, the ability to feed oneself, though it doesn't necessarily mean the capability to prepare food, transferring and mobility, being able to move yourself from one seated position to another or from a seated position to standing, being able to get in and out of your bed and the ability to walk independently from one location to another, maintaining continence. Now, which this means the ability to both physically and mentally use the restroom, by getting on and off the toilet, but also knowing when you need to use the restroom. Now, when you hear someone ask how a person does or is doing with their ADLs, these are what they're referring to. And depending on how much help they are needing for one, two, or all of them can determine the amount of care they may need day to day. Another reason that ADLs are important, aside from the safety and well-being of the individual being assessed, is that long-term care insurances and other assistance programs will require the individual to need assistance in as little as two of their ADLs up to three or four. When they see that that individual requires this assistance, typically it's a professional company, a doctor, or even someone from the long-term care insurance company, they will then process the claim and begin providing payment for the care to the company, facility, or the family or individual that they select. Now, oftentimes, regular documentation will be required showing that the individual is receiving assistance with their ADLs. Now, there are cases where if an individual recently had some type of surgery, let's say, maybe it was a hip replacement and they went to rehab for a little longer to get a bit stronger, but they also are wanting to get back to their home as soon as they possibly can they may still require some assistance with their ADLs for a while. This would be a situation where there's an expectation that they're going to regain or have restored abilities for what they went in for treatment for, like the hip replacement. Right after hip surgery, you're not expected to have the ability to perform all of your ADLs. So you typically will go to rehab, get some physical therapy. A wound nurse will be checking on the surgical site from the hip replacement and things. But slowly, there's usually a meaningful expectation that you're going to regain the ability to do all and perform all of your ADLs. Now, that doesn't mean you can't still get assistance, though, while you're recovering during that period of time. Now, however, there are also many situations where an individual may need assistance with their ADLs long term. And if they are utilizing long term care insurance, they will do an annual or a semi annual exam the insurance company typically will, to make sure that the individual still needs care for their ADLs. Now, ADLs encompass all the needs an individual has to be able to live. And if you know someone and have any concerns that they may be having trouble or difficulty with any of their ADLs, offer help to them or if possible, sit down as a family and see what options you may have to get them the assistance that they need. The descriptions for ADLs are, for the most part, the same no matter who's providing the definitions or descriptions. Now, we did reference the website payingforseniorcare.com for some of the information used in this episode. And just remember, no matter who's talking about ADLs, the categories are all the same. Descriptions may vary very little, but for the most part, this is something that's agreed upon industry-wide. So if you have concerns about someone or even yourself and your ADLs, 
have your doctor or if you are using home care or know a social worker or case manager, have an evaluation done. See what they think. Do you need help just occasionally? Is it just in a little bit or in a long-term situation? ADLs are something that help you continue living independently as long as possible, but it's okay to get help for them as well. That's a very common thing, especially as we age and we start to develop other physical limitations or even cognitive limitations. We hope this episode has been informative. If you or someone you know can benefit from it, please share this episode with them. We want to help as many people as we can. Thank you for joining us here at All Home Care Matters. Please visit our website at allhomecarematters.com. There's a secure, private, fillable form there. If you have show ideas, questions, or suggestions, or just some feedback, all forms are read and responded to. And make sure to join us next time on All Home Care Matters as we discuss another important topic, the pros and cons of hiring a private caregiver versus hiring a professional home care company. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to you joining us again on another episode of Home Care Matters. To learn more about the show and to connect with us, visit us at allhomecarematters.com.